I don't want to talk about it. There is a thin line between determination and insolence. Well, well, maybe there's redemption for you yet. Passed on when his care sure I. Rumors would have us believe Suridan's source of immortality lies somewhere within. If you intend to continue this journey, that is where I'm headed. While you wish to go to care sure I, while already an immortal confounds me. But I don't care much either way. Just know that if you attempt to take the source, I will cut you down without hesitation.
This church was a monument to him. Once, the bulwark chosen of Baldwin, people clamored in adoration. They sought to be anointed, as he was, by self-proclaimed gods, usurpers who touted him like a trophy, inspiring entire generations into fervent devotion. In return, they promised immortality. Then you walk among the fools and the ghosts of Elduin. I watched as the bulwark's mind and body slowly decayed, until all that remained was his reaching soul. But he never lost his sense of purpose. Despite any who prayed here, having long since perished, and now you, who have silenced his thunder, this storm that once heralded judgment. Now who shall deem whether one is worth becoming immortal or not? Perhaps I shall take upon his mantle. Why have you come to disturb the dead? Get used to your new accommodations. <laughs> the bars will rust eventually. Perhaps by then you will rethink your glory seeking. Tell me, if you are already immortal, why do you seek the citadel? Dead, by now. You are not the first to venture here with misguided sentiment. Abandon your search. Nobody reaches the Citadel, and neither will you. Big servant. Oh, watching you dawdle so is giving me conniptions. A dangerous pastime for you mortals. Of all things, that is the question that plagues your thoughts. Me. Now cease your idling, it's time to go. Ever persistent. I wonder if the others would have shed your spirit.
Why have you come to disturb the dead? Leave this place and honor her memory. Whether you find her or not, no one is truly alive here. Empty, save for the memory of my parents. Nothing to bury. Time and their arrogance made certain of that. But their consciousness endures. A story for another time, perhaps. Follow me. Beyond these gates, you'll see Kirsi or I. Within its walls is the dreaded source of immortality. Look upon the citadel. And consider your next move carefully. We've come this far, you and I. You never did inspire much confidence. Destroy it. In truth, I never expected you to make it this far. I suppose an introduction is well overdue. I am Ioni Eku. Beyond the chasm, that's Kaer Shiori. All who seek immortality must pass through its crumbling gates. It was almost my new home. Before you showed up, we shouldn't tarry too long. The sewers lead back to Sanctuary, and ahead towards Kaer Shiori. Death needn't be so loathed, for you will be reunited with the loved ones you lost. But my soul has perished long ago, and I have not the dust to come in with my family. My choice to die was taken from me.
found this missive on a corpse here. It carries the royal seal of Vados. Well, most of it has been scribbled over. F Fink? Fink has you now. <sighs> it's just the ditch. I've been in worse situations. <laughs> Fink trap man feels good. Mustn't let them get away, no, no. Answer Trixie questions, and maybe Fink will keep one surface dweller as pet. Not garbage. I'll wring your screeching throat, you mongrel. Fresh meat, stop flapping mouths. Answer tricksy questions. Ah, of course. Your confounded immortality. Some of us don't have the luxury to live without thought. This land is called Saradin. Trues are falses. <laughs> I refuse to be collateral to your stupidity. I'll be back. on you, my impetuous child. No, but she and I were close, once upon a time. Not as the Everly you knew, but people change. She is dead, like all soldiers of Vados. You're surprised, blind to the absurdity of this excursion. You cannot win. I was like you, loyal. Nothing good ever comes from subservience. Do you know what the afterlife entails? Every waking moment for eternity. Endless torment for moments you can never take back. That is true. Death. The hell Alduinian so fondly spoke of. You and I tasted death, but in doing so, we've been unfettered from the noose of mortality. No longer will we ever be subjected to such hell. Would you deny the same for your mother, your father, the families of Vardos? Leave Cyrodiil, and I will return your mother to you. You will 
try.
Oh. <laughs> 
Imagine what you could do if you were free from him. There is salvation in surrender.
dream of becoming Zorin. You have accomplished much in your brief time here. Rest a moment and meditate, huh? <laughs> Even if Cyrodon weren't under siege from all sides, without the goading hand of mortality, life stagnates. Yes, turns out immortal fodder is quite useful. No offense. Oh, what? Did you sign away your soul and your sense of humor in that contract? Oh, come on. You must learn to accept levity in times of distress. Immortality alone does not grant one the capacity for greatness. Meditate on this until we speak again. I really must tend to my flowers. Birds circle in your head. You speak as one who yearned for immortality, hoping it might fill a void in their life. Gaze upon the distant stars, their light a life across the infinite expanse of the universe. Whether you are immortal or not, our actions are of no consequence to our brethren in the sky. Here we are, together, on this solitary rock. Perhaps it is divine providence. Perhaps it is dumb luck. It is up to you to derive meaning in such an existence, as I have done with my flowers. We cherish what is beautiful, because we know it is transient. The passage of time will not dictate the value of your life. Now, go. Plant your own flower. So it goes, but in death, their memory of you becomes eternal. And someday, those memories will anchor you to sanity in the darkest of times.
Might I ask you something personal? Did you join the expedition willingly, or were you drafted? Do you regret that decision? That must weigh heavily on your mind. Sometimes fate is easier to deal with when such decisions are left out of our hands. My expedition was crushed, just like yours. But Endless gave me a choice. By joining them, I thought I could prevent more bloodshed. But it made no difference. You were there. How naive could I have been? They promised me a reunion with my father. <laughs> Four years. Four years I endured this torment. It's felt like an eternity. All of it. Undone by you. A persistent orphan. Just like me. I blamed you for my own misgivings. But you've made my purpose clear. Thank you. The most beautiful sunset I've ever seen. You would have loved it. So would... Ah. I figured it was only a matter of time until you found him. This is... what's left of my father. By the time I learned what they did. He's well beyond that. Years ago, I might have been able to do something. But with you here, now, I think it may be time. I know. This is more for me. I promise I'll free you, Papa. Just hold on a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> 